Imagination Station, and I think it's probably a pretty good day since I don't have to have protective eyewear or any kind of a blast shield around us. So I'm with my extreme scientist, Jesse, today, and we're going to figure out what happens to a marshmallow when you take out all the oxygen or all the air around it. What are we going to do? Absolutely. So um, just to intro this a little bit, so in, the, in a balloon, when we fill it up, there's a whole bunch of air molecules whizzing around in there, pushing on the outside of that balloon. Now, the only thing that keeps this balloon from expanding and expanding forever and ever um, is the fact that there are air molecules on the outside of the balloon also pressing in on it, all right? So we're going to find out what would happen to a marshmallow if we removed all of those <laughs> air molecules around it, all right? Awesome, okay. All right, so your job today is going to be to run my vacuum pump. Do you think you can handle that? I got it. All right. I think. So we're, we're going to go ahead. We have this cute little marshmallow man right here. We're going to find he's, out. He's what adorable, he by the is way. really yes. adorable. What's his name, Carl? Sure, his name, okay, is Carl. his name is Carl. That's a great name for him. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here. All right, now whenever you're ready, just go ahead and turn right. on that pump. We're going to watch what happens to our marshmallow. Ready, set, go. So let's just observe him. Oh, what do you see happening to him? He's taller. growing yeah. and growing. What's happening underneath there? All right, so what's happening is we're pulling out all those air molecules. So all the air molecules <laughs> inside that marshmallow, there's thousands of tiny little air pockets, and they're all expanding, and they're all um, making that marshmallow grow. <laughs> That's awesome. He's, he's like three times the size he was when we started. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah, Carl, all right. you are just I know, huge. he's gigantic. Yes. So let's go ahead and find out what happens when we turn it off. So okay. go ahead and turn that off. <laughs> All right, so when we turn he it off, flew around a little bit. <laughs> he He's flew like around a, a little bit. I know, it's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. And they all shrunk, all those air molecules slammed back into the marshmallow, and so they're back pretty much to their original size. That is so cool. Now, that was thousands of tiny air pockets. What do you think would happen if we had like millions of tiny air pockets? Yeah, really. I think it might be pretty cool. So we're going to so. try shaving cream. All right, so shaving cream is even more light and fluffy than a marshmallow. Yeah. Oh, so we're going to go ahead and put so that inside right, Carl, our tube. you did a good job for us, but hey, we're on to the... Shaving cream. All right, so we're going to try this one. I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. Okay. Let's take a look at what happens to ah, our shaving cream. Ready, Jesse? Go for All it. Right. <laughs> What's going on now? Check it out. So it's exactly the same thing. We're removing the air from around the shaving cream, yeah. and all those air molecules are just flying out of there. They're expanding. <laughs> They're making that shaving cream get huger and it's huger. More, it's more it's, than double, tripled probably I know. By it's right? it's going to oh, fall over. Wow. No big deal. But the cool thing about the shaving cream is, like I said, it's way more light and fluffy yeah. than a marshmallow. So what do you think might happen if we take the... Or uh, if we put the pressure back into our vacuum. It's going to shrink back down to the You think so? Side. You want to find out? Oh, I do. Heck all yeah. Right, let's Ready? go ahead and try it. Go ahead and turn it off for <laughs> right. me. <laughs> so we made a big old mess. When those air molecules slammed back into there, all of that shaving cream just went everywhere. Oh, that was cool. All right, Jess, now you have a mess to clean up. I do have a mess to clean up. No big deal.